Okay, so I just had my buddy Luke up here with me, uh, and he looked over all of the electrical and had some suggestions for me as far as uh, um, things to do before I have my official inspection. Uh, now Luke's background, he's got probably close to 20 years in the, uh, the trade, uh, master journeyman, so I knew he would be able to uh, not only point out or, or, or help me identify issues um, that I may have created before the inspector, but I also knew that he would have some suggestions on uh, things to do uh, if it were his house, things like that. So he thought everything was fine. He did find a couple of uh, staples that I had uh, hammered down a little bit too tight and he pointed out that that was likely going to be uh, where I'd get called out if I was called out. Um, he showed me how to wire up the boxes in preparation for um, uh, drywall, which was also a big deal. And because I'm going to be doing the drywall, um, this helped. Uh, and then he also showed me how to wire up this last section of uh, can lights on what's called the four-way uh, switches and I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'm going to finish the bathroom and then I'm done with electrical and uh, we're gonna do the panel when it dries out a little bit more but I'm hoping that I can get uh, this inspected and passed so I can uh, move on to other things. Okay so Luke also said that I may get into some hot water right here with uh, with the inspector. I drilled out an inch and a half hole and there's there's plenty of room in there uh, but but he may not like how many wires I have running through there so um, I may drill another hole or two and fish these back out and get them back through before I have that inspection but overall Luke thought everything was fine again he uh, showed me how to trim out the boxes um, in preparation for drywall so the roto zip does not hit the uh, the wires so uh, he showed me some good stuff which I should be able to punch out pretty quick uh, but right now I'm going to focus on getting this last can light, last section of can lights done and, uh, and then hopefully we're, we're just about tied, tidied up with uh, wiring. Okay so the idea is that at the bottom of the stairs I'll have three switches. One switch controls the lights over the stairs, down the hall upstairs. The second switch controls the first uh, circuit of uh, can lights. Then the second switch controls the can lights around the kitchen. So right here is where the back door is going to be. So I also have a porch light here. Then I have a kitchen and a living room light. So now what I've got to do is I've got to get power here for the porch, back porch light pulling 14-2 wire. I've got to get power at the front door for the porch light. Um, and then I've got to get 14-3, two, two uh, stretches of 14-3 between these three gang boxes. So there'll be two runs of 14-3 going from the back door to the kitchen then from the kitchen to the downstairs uh, switch. So uh, a total of uh, two runs using 14-2, uh, two runs using 14, uh, let's see, a total, so a total of two runs using 14-3, two runs using 14-3 between the, uh, the stairs and the front porch, and then I've just gotta have the power going in and power going out. So I think I've got it figured out. Now it's just a process of uh, getting everything connected.
As you can see, Cedar hasn't been up here to help me clean yet. Now I need to run this 14-3 two times between each of these three switches. It's going to be close. I hope I get enough wire. I thought I had enough of the 14-3 wire and I just ran out. I don't have anywhere near enough. So what I'm going to do is finish the bathroom real quick. Finish the um, can lights. Can lights go pretty fast. And then I'm going to run down and pick up a roll of, uh, of the 14-3. Hopefully this is the last roll that I've purchased.
It's 8 o'clock at night. My back's killing me. All of the can lights are done. The only thing I have left to do is finish fishing that 14-3 uh, wire through that I ran out of. And then I gotta decide where I'm gonna put a few outlets on the outside of the house and that's it. Bathroom's done, everything's done downstairs. I spent a few hours up on the hill yesterday cutting stuff up, trying to go through the wood, determining what is wood that I can make something out of and what isn't. And uh, myself and Rhett and uh, his cousin, Tell, um, piled it all up and got it ready to burn. And uh, it's so dry that I think I'm gonna um, not run that through the wood chipper. I, I don't wanna uh, wear out the wood chipper any faster than I have to. Uh, probably only run green stuff through the wood chipper. But um, my back's just killing me from running that chainsaw uh, for a couple hours yesterday and from just dragging uh, stuff down the hill. And so hold my arms over my head finishing that can light didn't help things. But it's obvious that I've got some muscles that need to be exercised coming out of winter. But on the upside, it's 8 o'clock at night and it's it's still bright, it's, it's sunny, it's beautiful right now. Um, there's a little storm trying to roll through, uh, but it's beautiful and uh, uh, pretty soon we'll have uh, 10.30 at night and we'll still have sun out. That's how the summers are up here. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, the, the warmer weather for sure. Uh, tomorrow is opening day of Turkey and we've had more traffic on this road uh, than we've had in the last five months in just one day. I bet there's been, um, I don't even know, 20 or 30 cars up this road. And, uh, you know, I'm an avid uh, supporter of public lands and, and I'm, I got nothing against um, uh, hunters, to say the least. And I, I guess I would categorically say that I'm a hunter as well. Um, but the problem with this area up here is uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, clearly defined um, private property signs and so we occasionally have guys that get off and start uh, hunting on people's land that they shouldn't be and technically technically they're in the right if it's not posted uh, they can't get in trouble with it in the state of Idaho but um, we uh, we try to look out for each other's land up here and uh, and make sure that these guys are hunting where they're supposed to be hunting but that's one of the beautiful beautiful parts about Idaho you can buy an over-the-counter uh, tag uh, in, in quite a few different hunts up here and so we get people coming from all over the country to, to hunt here. Uh, last year we had guys from the East Coast uh, hunting here based on uh, seeing that there was public land available and a $35 uh, permit. So anyway, um, I'm, uh, I'm so excited to be done with the electrical. I'm so ready to move on to, to bigger and better things. Um, but uh, there's still a tiny bit to finish up. The other thing I'm thinking about doing is throwing some outside motion sensor lights up and I'm trying to decide if I should wire them to a switch or just wire them to constant power. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it would be nice to have them on a switch. Uh, but we definitely want to have motion sensor lights um, regardless of what's crawling around here. The, the only thing that I worry about crawling around here is a human. Everything else I can deal with and even humans I guess I can deal with. but. Uh, Every once in a while we got some weirdos wandering around up here and, and I, I'd like to be, uh, I don't want to be caught off guard if I can help it. Come here, what are you doing? I think we're going to try and find Ruger, a uh, partner, since we had to put down Kona, I think we'll find, uh, I think I'm going to try and find a German short hair Labrador mix. I think that's what I'm leaning towards. I like the bird dogs, they seem to be good family dogs. And that's the, uh, the next... Uh, hopefully a dog that barks and lets me know that people are coming around but anyway Monday I'll get back to uh, um, finishing up the little bit of electrical then the roads drying out enough to where I will uh, order the inspections this week